come up here. We got the Cowboys NFC West from the, over the last five years. I was playing, but come on. We got the San Francisco 49ers here at number nine. Last year, they were the fourth best offense. So a slight regression we see incoming. But if you're not a Niners fan, I mean, come on. You have to, you, I think you're probably on the same page as us right here. We're, again, still going to be a good offense. But let's be honest for a second, right? Minus Trent Williams, the O-line, it's just not very good. And they're young, weird group. You don't know how to feel about a lot of people on that group. Brock Purdy, like Brock Purdy a lot. But you talk about a situation where, especially coming off injury, mm-hmm. could go south quickly. For sure. I'm not sold on him, Brock Purdy, being a, for like a full-time Apple starter yet. Because again, that has to be earned. And uh, the receiving core, though, I'd say is one of the highlights of the team for sure. Christian McCaffrey, awesome. You know, that's had my is my best running back in the league. Um, George Kittle, fantastic, amazing tight end, great blocker. Really is one of the big things that lets the scheme be the way it is. But that's kind of the thing too. Is hey, George Kittle gets injured. A few people get injured. This offense goes kind of goes south quick. And that's kind of the big thing for me is why we couldn't put them any higher. So yeah, I mean like. Trent Williams is going to be 35 years old. So it's just like, don't get me wrong. He's still probably the best tackle in football, but it's like, how many more years do you have of that? And if you take Trent Williams away from this line, it's kind of garbage. It they, is garbage. And they lost McGlinchey. I mean, they were 10th. They're 10th in run blocking, 5th in pass blocking last year. Or no. Wait, what the hell? I'm in the pass one again. <laughs> they're 5th in pass blocking. But it's just like... Samuel is injury ridden. Kittle's injury ridden. You know, even a Uke potentially like you. So it's like, I just like, I don't know. Like they're going to be good. Like that's a fact. They're good every year. It's just like, I feel like one day it's just all going to fall apart. Like there's no more like, not that they glued this offense together, but doesn't it not feel like, they're gluing like the holes in it. No, it does. And again, the offensive line was kind of what has been carrying them over these past few years. Yeah. And I know Kyle Shanahan can make any offensive lineman look a lot better, just the way the scheme is and how much easier it is to play in. But it just, you know, you're not going to take guys that are grading out at 50 and make them like 80s. It's just, you'd be maybe lucky no. to move them to 60. Well, and that's still not going to move the needle for the way the offense. This offense it needs dominant run blockers. They don't have a lot of them. And that's just going to be the Achilles heel, I think, this year. Well, their center is 30. Their guard, uh, Banks, is 25. And then Spencer Buford's 22. Um, McKivitz is 27. So, and he graded okay. It's just like, I, I don't, I here's my thing. I don't see how the offense is better this year. Absolutely not. I would say they lost a good 15%. Okay. At least. I that's think it's a good way I think of it. That's fair. I like this team next. This next team. Yeah, this lot. one's going to be fun. And I, a lot of people are going to hate us for this one. But I, that's how we like it. We, we we like it when you have to. You didn't see the plot and we did. We like it that way. If we were putting, if we were being aggressive, I would put the Seahawks and them higher. No, for sure. For sure. This one is going to be. 